Hello everyone, welcome back to episode 3 of this little City Skyline series I'm doing. So, before we get into it, you're probably wondering why am I speaking and why is this a live gameplay? It's because I just wanted to do something different and I just wanted to sort of give you a little update slash tour of what I've done, what we've been doing and sort of what the expansion plans are for this little... I don't know what to call it, little town, little, you know, tourist town, I guess you can call it, because it's got nice beaches. Uh, anyway, this town has nothing, you know, associated with that sort of thing. There's no names, I've got no name for the town, or there's no names for any suburbs, or I don't have a story for this or anything like that. And there's a couple other things I wanted to sort of talk about uh, in this uh, live update, which should be uh, fine let's just play a little cinematic here just to give you something to look at while I'm speaking so this isn't a serious series so let me explain when a lot of people play City Skylines they sort of tend to focus their themes on one particular theme so if you're building a European city for example on a European map your entire map theme would be European and you would have different spots of Europe and different accents of Europe uh, if you know what I mean you know splotted around everywhere and when you know I don't know how else to put it but when basically new people like beginners play this game uh, they sort of just build right over you know there's no themes attached you just pick your base theme at the very beginning of the game obviously but then you sort of just build whatever you know it doesn't matter what it looks like it doesn't matter if it actually ties in or not you think the this building looks cool so you're just going to put it in and I'm sort of focusing more about well that's what that's what I'm trying to say I'm not really focusing on doing any themes at all I'm just sort of finding things I look cool, that I think look cool and just putting them in the build in the city so I don't know, let me know what you think about that. If you prefer when people, you know, go all out on one particular theme, or if you just prefer a little mix here and there, and you prefer people when they don't focus on a theme. So let me know what you think. So that's one thing. This isn't a serious series. Uh, another thing is how long the series is going to go for. I'm going to be honest, I don't actually have a plan on how long the series is going to go for could be five episodes could be 35 episodes I'm not sure uh, so the third thing I wanted to speak about is why I'm starting this City Skyline series again the truth is I just bought a and built my own PC I had a PC before but it was sort of a pre-built that I just upgraded a couple parts but I've actually got my own PC now that I built buying all parts that I wanted and I'm really happy about that. I might post like a little video uh, later on about me building it and my experience and so so much. Uh, so a quick overview: it's a 3080 RTX 3080, and it's also it's only running an Intel i7 11700K. So it's not the fastest processor, but it's not that bad. You know, I've been testing it for a few days now, and I must say it's a lot better than my old PC, my old setup, so I'm quite happy with it. You know, I've just got the usual 32 gigs of RAM as well, and there's... I'll have to post another video about it and explain it. Now let's continue with this video. So, I'm not going to give you a full tour, because you've, if you've watched episode 1 and 2, then you've seen what we've done. I haven't done anything off screen. I've done 95% of everything you've seen on screen. Uh, there's been a couple things I've done off screen, like fixing a couple traffic flaws here and there, adding some, you know, some line markings in a couple places, uh, like right here, for example. Uh, this, by the way, is not how I want this to look. I'm going to change this. This is just sort of a placeholder sort of thing. Uh, but yeah, so where is this going to go next? So we've built this, uh, the workers area, 
uh, the farming lands. It's not really that, you know, isolated. It's kind of cramped in here, but that's okay. It's just a game. It's only a game. This is where all the people work. Uh, there's a tram that comes down here. I want to not extend the tram, but have a bus route maybe coming from here, you know, into the farm a bit more. Maybe. We'll see. It's a pretty short distance. I could probably walk. Uh, so the next area we're going to be focusing on is probably the downtown here. It's not going to be a massive downtown with skyscrapers and all that. There will probably most likely be a few taller buildings, but nothing, you know, major. So let me give you an example. Uh, so there's some buildings here I got off the workshop. Um, this, no, that's way too tall. Uh, there's probably the tallest building, probably be like 10 stories or something like that. Uh, we can always go to growables. Uh, come down here. Nope. Uh, so here, th for example, this one here is probably going to be about the tallest uh, building you'll see in our little downtown area here. And that's because this is not going to be the main part of the city. This is just going to be the initial town settlement that people first moved into. It's going to be the old town the new town and where the fun large skyscrapers is going to be is going to be over here so i've actually played on this map before and it's sort of it sort of works like having the downtown over here you know hugging the mountain range sort of reminds you of uh japan or asia a little bit because there's a lot of mountain ranges in asia uh, and a lot of cities just hugging the mountains so it's sort of fun like that. So that's the plan. Downtown's going to be over here. Uh, and over here is just going to be like sprawling suburbs. And all this way from here onwards, this way is just going to be industry and stuff. Uh, also, we're going to need some more power. You know, I've got some windmills here. And what? He is gone way over here. This is our little hot air balloon that we placed. Mm, that's quite nice. Nice for you. Uh, so that's the plan. So in this video, by the way, we're probably not going to actually build anything. I am going to right now lay out the roads of where things are going to go in this area. So this is this video isn't a complete waste. So I am going to do something. I just don't actually think we're going to be doing any building as such in this video so downtown this is going to be the main intersection right here so we're going to have to have a road coming here i would make this a roundabout but i don't really want to i sort of like having the intersection with traffic lights and then i'll use traffic manager and have timed traffic lights set up properly so this is going to be basically a grid I will have a here and then we will have like pretty much like a little uh, road hugging the water here so we can do this I will have also another road coming off of here uh, that goes like sort of down there sort of thing uh, so what we'll do is we'll have this that and then we'll have another road here yep that works it comes here like that and then that distance there because this here is lined up with this so it could be straight but at the distance is only three units so what we want to do is we want to go there but then go back three units which I believe was that road guidelines sometimes makes it pretty hard one two oh no it was that three and then we use the curve and then it's three by three units on a curve so it's nice and even and that's how you do a nice curve okay so let's come back here this isn't going to be another intersection. 
uh, as large as that because what I want to do... Well, it's going to be an intersection. It's not going to be a proper one. It's going to be... Or maybe I will make it an intersection. This is how I play this game, by the way. Sort of think as I go. So, we want to obviously have some nice beaches, beach houses along here. So, we'll go like this. Uh, we'll just we'll just do that. And then, I might do something fun. We will build a car park. Because why not? Everyone likes a car park. Nope, not like that way. Okay. Nope, not like that either. Okay, so this car park. Oh my goodness, I cannot play. This car park. It's going to extend into the beach a little bit. But that's okay. We are then going to... Put some parking. Now we'll do this one. One thing when I build car parks, I like to build them, but I don't like to spend too much time because they're kind of tedious for me to build on. Just like that. See, from a distance, looks like normal car park. All good. Then we will. <coughs> then this is where the fun begins. Excuse me. We are going to be placing the taller building is here on the in the middle, and then so just as an example, uh, we'll get some we'll get some skyscrapers, not 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 skyscrapers, some like apartments, some condos, or whatever they're called. So we're gonna have probably something like this. And then it's going to go shorter and shorter, like that, except it's going to be a little bit off-centered. So we we'll actually have the shorter one on this side, and that one on that side. See? And that's one. And then we are going to have a construction site as well. Also, by the way, when you do things like this, you really want to not mess it up. Okay, so then we'll just move it, move that. All of this is very, not rushed, but it's trying to play speed mode. Get another road. So, got to make it feel proper downtownish. Going to have a lot of intersections. I don't want too many. Uh, I don't know where to place this. I could place it here. Mm. See, this is the problem with not planning what you're actually going to do. Okay, so what we might do here is see how these don't line up. So, we're just going to skip that. Go down here, and then join that with that. There we go. Because that's another main road through, right through there. Okay, this is where we get out this little, like, construction zone. So... The plan is to right here, we're going to build a, like, a little construction site just here. So we're going to place that down. Right there. This is what it looks like when it's finished, by the way, this building. This is the completed version. So we c might place this down uh, a bit, a bit more down, maybe there. So then like, oh yeah, that's nice. We're just going to build another one of them. And so right in the middle here, we're going to have a construction zone. So the way I build construction zones is I first uh, find my fences. 
and fence it off. The oil industry fence is a pretty good fence to use for like anything. Uh, anything to do with construction or like pretty much anything actually. Alright, and then we'll fence that off. So it's got a little path there. And then that's all I do. Just do that. So then they've actually got a little driveway. Yeah. Now, I don't have the decals, but if I had some decals, I'd put them down. For, like, mud and stuff. Although, what does that look like? Oh, that looks alright. So. Just keep it like that. So you have to have your license to come in here. You have to be authorized. Uh, and then we just get some like dirt splodges around. Because all of this will be construction now. So you don't want too much green, but a little bit is fine. Uh, we'll go back to the fences again. And we're just going to fence off this whole area. Okay. So this area is one complete construction zone. But it does not look like a construction zone quite yet because there's no props. Uh, we'll go to... Oh. Whoops. Do not have to build construction. It's both construction and then you've got some like buildings and stuff here. Uh, but, you know, it's not going to show everything construction wise. So what we want to do is delete that. Go into props, and then they'll just be like laying around here. There'll be trucks and stuff. Oh, here you go. Go into industrial. These are all our industrial props, so all our construction stuff. And then what all I do is I start placing things around. So you know he's probably got to drill some more holes. I uh, got some storage containers. I uh, got some cement trucks coming in and parking. So, you know, they might just come in and park right there. Alright, now. This would sort of make sense. You have a little crane thing. Not a crane. Uh, like a man lift. Right there. So, that's just like an elevator for construction workers. It's a temporary ele exterior elevator. Uh, we'll just place some more. You know, I might need a forklift around here. So, place one of them. Uh, road grader, you don't really need that. That's more for, you know, actual road works. So, I probably wouldn't place that down. Although, if you're just trying to fill in the space, there's no harm in placing something like that down. I uh, have a couple of generators. Gonna have some of these. Now, unfortunately, I don't have all the props that I actually want. There's some like dirt mounds and stuff that you can get that I would like to put down here. Uh, all the rubbish could probably just, you know, go in the middle here because where else would you put it rather than right in the middle of the workspace? A little mobile crane. It's always handy. 
uh, some portaloos. So for the construction workers, probably just have a couple of them laying around. Ah, uh, yes. Classical these things. I don't think I actually remember what these are called. Oh. I need to turn that on. So the idea of these, sorry if we've gone silent there for a bit, is really just to make like a barrier where people can't walk. Yeah, but probably stop it there. Uh, so yeah. Let's say for example you wanted to uh, barricade this area. You know, you could do that. No problem. So then the residents can still, you know, visit there. Like, in real life, they'd probably use fences, actually, rather than barricades, but oh well, doesn't matter. Okay, so, some red clothes signs. This episode is pretty much just turned into construction site building. Detailing a construction site, but you know what? That's fine. Uh, so we might have the road closed, like let's say close this way, so normal traffic can't come in. Because I'm playing left-hand side, because I live in Australia, that's how I drive. Uh, so you know, obviously, if you were to drive and you'd go on this side, but it's blocked, so you can't. So, but construction workers, they just go on this side. It's fine. Okay. Um, and this, this is just where we just start just placing random stuff. You know, have a couple of bins here and there. Because, uh, you know, why not? Well, yep, got to have the trucks. So. Have the trucks parked there. Have a little bobcat. And this is like a little arm. Um, actually, might have this looking like this. Uh, actually, maybe not. It's fine. Oh, and yes, of course, the cranes. We need the cranes. So. There's two, there's a couple cranes. These are props. So I might just place these sort of just here. This is just a bigger version of that, which we probably would need. Uh, actually. Yeah, that's fine. And then... We want to crane, and then there's a crane rotating by wind. So, we might actually get that one. Which is... Now that I think about it. that one there and then yeah as you can see when the wind changes direction that crane changes direction okay everyone so this episode is actually starting to go for a bit long so I might actually just quickly finish up building the roads and then 
you know, call it a day for now. Uh, but yeah, we've made good progress. That is not saying there, that was an example. These, I'm not actually sure if I want to keep them here yet or not. But that's okay. This could be like a initial downtown. We'll have the really tall skyscrapers over here still. Uh, but then this all will just be sprawling suburbs. So I'll quickly lay down the rest of the roads here and then we'll call it a day. Oh, got everything turned off. Alright, so. That is done. We are done for this episode. We have this planned out. That is what the road layout is going to look like. And we can just fill in the rest uh, in the next episode. You'll see me doing that. Uh, so yeah, hopefully you like this. Uh, this is just like a little quick overview of, you know, how to do a construction site. How I do it anyway. Uh, the cranes really, the cranes and the actual building really make it pop. And the all the props down here just sort of add to a little bit of detail but it's really the cranes that really make you think oh yes that is definitely a construction site so yeah this is just going to be like a fun little resort area this one here i'll uh, probably have a pool down here and stuff like that uh, but yeah that obviously you probably won't see it it'll probably stay as a construction site throughout this series uh, maybe at the end we can finish it off but yeah that will be all for this one everyone so thanks for watching leave a like if you did let me know how to improve these videos because I do want to improve and I'll see you in the next one.